Hey guys, it's Neil and welcome to Hardcore Linux. If you are a Java developer just like me, Oracle Java is really important when you are basically developing an application in production purpose. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Oracle Java manually in Ubuntu 18.04. So let's get started. Long story in short, in the old and good days, we can install Oracle Java using a simple PPA. But nowadays Oracle has changed their policies and now you have to freaking log in to get Oracle Java. So this PPA is doesn't gonna work for now. And it's uh, also mentioned in their GitHub page that that's the main problem. That's why this PPA and doesn't work. So if you are a production based Java developer, then you have to install Oracle Java in your Linux machine. In my case, that's Ubuntu. So uh, let's get started. First of all, uh, I already downloaded the JDK for saving some time. So the first command you have to do, you have to go for root, okay? So I just switch myself to root and I am going to make a directory in USA lib and I'm gonna call it JVM. We are done with making this thing now. Let's go to that directory. Okay. Now, as you can see, I do download the JDK. In most probably downloads, I guess. And nope, maybe it's on the desktop. Oops, what did I do? Okay. So ls. Ooh. Oh, ls slash home and it should be in the middle, you know. So there is our JDK pack. So it's a tar.gz file and we need to untar it. So let me just type tar xvzf. Yep, that should be it. Just let me be clear one time. and oh my goodness they have so many options and uh, just file yep 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 yeah that's completely cool and we are giving it the complete path of that file so it will gonna uh, extract everything in jvm directory so that's a basic process now the next thing uh, we have to do is set our environment, right? So it's stayed in etc slash environment, open it up and I'm gonna just copy and paste this stuff because there's a tons of typing. Okay. So there you have it. Now I'm gonna explain it. Just give me a second because I'm going to replace Yep. So I'm going to replace the name. Oops, it's not Vim, it's VI. So come on, buddy. You know what? F off. Let me install Vim because this machine is just formatted. Because I do install Ubuntu Budgie on that machine and that uh, video is on the YouTube so check it out. So let me just install Vim. I've got some tiny problems with VI editor because you know when I'm in the insert mode and sometimes I do use the arrow keys because my escape key is defected, a little bit defected. So yep, it will gonna continue in any moment now. And yep, yeah, we are done. So we have to go for etc slash environment and I'm gonna delete this all. Again, gonna copy it and don't be afraid, it will gonna available in the description. 
you don't have to just stay around it and copy it up okay so i'm going to copy this thing again okay so i copy the name and i'm going to change the version basically which version i do have in my local machine so yep that we're gonna go there so you so you have to basically replace the name of <clears throat> the version of jdk you have in your pc i can't say in jvms so right quit this file and now we have to inform ubuntu that we just install oracle java you know so i'm gonna type update alternative oops update alternatives install and i'm gonna go into the install and it's it's install on usa bean usa, USA bean slash java and the destination is when is that real location for this thing and this okay so this uh, so we need this thing to be here and just let me now just go for it should uh, when i say just type java it will gonna call this binary file so yeah usr uh, lib jvm whatever the version of java bean and we got java okay all time the updates in auto mode that's pretty cool and now we have to go for the java c which is a java compiler basically so everything remains same we just have to go for java c instead of java so it will be gonna in auto mode now just type update alternatives and now you have to set java because we inform the ubuntu installer that okay it's gonna install on there and you know you have to just call it that when I type Java, I need to execute that one thing. And now we have to set it up. So, update alternatives. Set Java. And it's in the, and it's in the same directory. Live JVM. Let us type is spell now bin and java okay now java c okay okay sorry now java c here and also java c here press enter and now we have successfully set java okay now we have to set up verifications so i have to type oh my goodness my typing is horrible today update alternatives list java and that's 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 and that's showing us the path where the java is basically installed and after going for the same thing java c and that's giving us a result okay now let's check java okay that's one dash most probably version and there you have it we have java runtime 1.8 installing in our system so java 1.8 is the last free version from oracle java uh, you can use oracle java 9 10 11 whatever in uh, personal development but if you are gonna use it in industrial purpose you have to pay money and if you want to install uh, open jdk and that's pretty simple you have just have to type sudo app get install or sudo app install open jdk headers uh, 7 8 or 11 it's all available in the Ubuntu repos, but Oracle Java is essential when you are doing industrial development. So uh, that's it for the video guys. It's a short and quick video. Actually I am studying and just feel bored and uh, I just make a video on it. So I hope you like it and if you guys do give it a thumbs up, share and do subscribe. And always thanks a lot for watching. It's Hardcore Linux signing off. Peace guys.